Today, I want to talk about how to install Rust up, which will help you manage and run your Rust compiler, package manager, and other tools that come directly with this installation. Basically, after we do this process, you'll have the ability to compile Rust programs and create projects on your local computer, as well as install crates using the Rust Package Manager. I'm here on the rustlang.org website. I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually grab this command for your Linux setup. Now, this will work across environments, meaning across Linux distributions, in order to install Rust, this is the official way to install Rust. We did talk about a different method earlier using a package manager, really just to compile one file, if that's all you wanna do. But here is a better way to do things with Rust up and a proper way to manage your Rust project. So first I wanna copy this. I'll actually spell it out for you so you can follow along, but start up a terminal that you'd like to use Let's actually make sure we have curl first because we're going to need this tool. As you can tell, I do not have curl, therefore I need to install it. So I'll do sudo apt space install curl. Curl will help us grab that script that we need of a Rust repo and then put it here on our system so we can actually run the script and install everything we need with Rust. So in order to use curl, we'll type in curl space dash dash proto space single quote equals HTTPS, another single quote after that, dash dash TLSV 1.2, space dash S, capital S, lowercase f, and then space HTTPS colon slash slash sh dot rust up dot rs. And then we're going to use the pipe character and pipe it over to sh. This is all one line. And after you have this, press enter and the installer will start. I can, I'll also mention you can also copy and paste that command directly in from the website that I have listed below. I will also let you know that this will work for Windows subsystem for Linux. The exact same command as long as you have curl, so make sure to utilize it on that as well if you're not running a native version of Linux. All right, so here what it's telling us is it figured out what the host is. It's going to grab the stable default toolchain Profile is going to be default and it's going to add the complete tool chain into our path variable so we can access it anywhere from shell. Which one do we want? Well, we don't want a custom installation. We're beginners here. So we'll go with the proceed with installation, the default. Number one, after you press enter, it's going to take a few moments and install all the necessary tools. As you can see, it says cargo. So their package manager is going to be installed. The documentation is going to be installed, a component for the standard library in Rust. Rust C, the compiler, and many other things in order to successfully have a great environment to run Rust on. After everything's said and done, it will tell you that in order to get started, you may need to restart your current shell. That's because they added a path environmental variable so that you can access these tools. So just to make sure we get everything, let's exit out of this shell and start a new one. All right, and with the new one started, we're going to use Rust for the first time, but we want to make sure our tools are up to date. Before we do, smash that like button for me. Subscribe below for following more of this Rust series that I'm creating about how to manage your project in Rust and create Rust programs. Now, I want to mention Rust Up. What is Rust Up? Well, it's a tool that keeps you up to date with the latest and greatest in the tool chain for Rust compilation, as well as the package manager. So if we press enter, it'll tell us all the various different commands that we can actually run with Rust Up. So if we do rust up and then show, it'll show the active installed tool chains or profiles. Update will update the rust tool chains and rust up. That one's in a very important one to do. Every once in a while, you'll want to make sure you're up with the latest and greatest in the tool chain. So you'll do rust up and then space update. And that will actually check and sync any changes to get your tool chain up to date. As you can tell here, it's unchanged because I am up to date. I just got done installing it. Therefore, I'm going to be up with the latest and greatest in Rust, which seems to be the compiler version 1.64. Anyways, that's absolutely fantastic. Let's go and create our very first Rust program. So I'm here in the home users directory. I'm going to create a new directory, make directory, space, Rust. This is where I'm going to keep my Rust projects in, or my Rust file. I'm going to create a single Rust file and compile it directly with the Rust compiler. How do I do this? Pretty simple. I'm going to use my favorite text editor, so nano, and create a new file. I'm going to call it hello world.rs. .rs just signifies a Rust source file. Anyways, 
After I press enter, that's going to create a new file. Now I want to create a new function. The function will be denoted by fn space. I'm going to call it main, and then I'm going to use open and closed parentheses, followed by open and closed curly braces. And inside here, I'm just going to print a line with an exclamation point at the end and a semicolon in between the parentheses. I will put a string and it's going to say, hello world. All right, that should be enough to actually run and spit out hello world into the console. So I'm going to save and exit out of here with control X, save the modified buffer, yes, and override the file. Now I have this hello world file, so how do we compile it? Well, since you installed all the tools necessary for compilation, it is here, and we're going to use the compiler directly for this one. In the future, I'll explain how Cargo can do this as well. I don't want to get there quite yet. Just a single file will work for us right now as we're beginners. The next episode will actually explain how to use Cargo to build an entire project as well as build and execute the same thing that we're doing here. Anyways, I'm going to type in rust C space hello world.rs. This should be enough to compile things if you don't have anything written out to you in the console as I did. That means you've successfully compiled things. Congratulations. Hit LS. And notice that we have a green hello world denoting a binary file that the Rust compiler created from us from our source code that we wrote. Anyways, to run it, we do dot slash and we just type in hello world. And what would we expect? Well, hello world to be spit out in the console. Congratulations if you made it this far. You've successfully compiled your first single program in Rust while setting up all the tools necessary to run Rust. And for the package manager, you'll notice if you type in cargo, you also have Rust Package Manager at this point. So again, I will mention one more time, Rust up space update is important so you can run this and make sure you have the latest and greatest in tools. Don't forget to subscribe below so you can keep up with this mini series here on how to get started with Rust and start developing your own programs in Rust. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.